Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences again. I am Sajad Mustafa and today we are going to learn a cool thing that is called auto email sending. So let's say if you're a teacher and you want to send the marks of your students via email to all of your students, you want two things you can do. One is you can purchase a highly paid service for sending emails and the other thing is you can write a Python script that is for free. The other thing is, let's say if you're a boss, you want to send emails to your, your employees or your customers. Uh, I, I mean, th this video is very useful for you at any cost. So without further ado, let's go to our Jupyter notebook and let's start working. By the end of this video, you will be able to send your email, uh, send the emails from your account, from your Gmail account to anyone. So first thing first, let's import some libraries. So uh, I'll say smtp lib. So this is a library that helps us sending email or setting up the servers or hosts. And then we'll say from email dot mime dot multipart. I need multipart. Okay, import mime multipart. Yeah. And also one more thing that I need is I'll say from email dot mime dot text. Yeah import <coughs> sorry import mime text awesome let's run it great so let's add a few more cells over here and then here i'll say let's say my address okay so here i'll i'll put my email address right my email address okay whatever at the rate of gmail.com later on I'll replace it with my original email address so that I don't have to show it um, over the screen and then here we um, we want to uh, we want to write the the password of our email and I'll say password okay so later on I'll replace these two things with my original password and email address and then here I'll say um, s equals to smtp lib. Okay, here I need smp, and in this I'll say my host is uh -huh, not. Yeah, no, it's right. My host is smtp dot gmail if I'm using a Gmail server, okay, dot com. And also I would I would recommend you if you're going to test it, use some temporary account rather than your personal account. Um, there is no harm in using your personal account as well, but uh, for, for testing purposes, you should use uh, some temporary or new account. So I'll say s dot start TLS, okay, so I'm in initiating it. And then I'm saying s dot login and here in, in login I have to pass two things I have to pass my uh, our, our address my a double d r e double s and also password okay so we have to pass uh, these two things so I'm going to pause this video over here so that I can fill my original password and my email address over here all right so what I have done is I have executed uh, this cell by putting on my original email and password and now this my address and password contains my original password and my original email address okay and then let's run this cell okay it says oh yeah there's a typo smtp okay let's run, run it again yeah so now we have successfully logged in into our, our email account and let's work some let's write some more uh, lines of code over here to to send the email okay and so i'll say first of all um, uh, let's create the message so i'll say mime multipart that i've already imported in the first line and then i'll say msg 
um, so from and here I would say my um, my address yeah and then a message the second attribute would be to to whom I'm going to send it oh T should be the capital okay so here I want to paste the address of receiver right so in my in my case I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a temporary email account so if you just google temp mail it goes to this disposable email address website so here you can get a disposable email email that is that works fine for a few minutes and then it disposes off so here let's say this is a dummy uh, email address I'm, co I'm copying it and if you will send email over here it will receive it over here yeah it it is already receiving it over here because uh, I have uh, uh, I have you know practiced with it a lot okay so let's go back so here I'll say okay great and then I'll say message of third thing is we want to put the subject as well okay and what should be the subject so subject is testing for YouTube YouTube no we want to write YouTube not YouTube and then finally we have to have a message the text of a message so um, let's say I'm going to say hello hope you are doing great right and then finally let's attach this message to our mime multipart so I'll say mime text and here I'll say my message and the second thing is I want to say make it as a plain text and finally the last thing s dot send underscore message and here I'll say send my message this whole object that I have created over here right and what is s s is the instance that we have created over here from SMT lib SMTP lib sorry okay so before sending this uh, this email um, let me go over here let me refresh it and you can see there are only um, there are only two mail there should be only two mails let's wait for it to reload um, yeah so there are only two emails with subject midterm grades right so now there should be a third email with the subject of testing for YouTube right so let's run it mm -hmm. it's running yeah I think it is successfully done and let's refresh it again so let's see if it receives the new email or not mm -hmm. yeah so here we have a third email testing for YouTube right so if we go over here uh, let's see the content of email so subject is testing for YouTube and the the content says hello hope you're doing great right which is this one right now uh, what if we want to send we want to send email to to multiple people not difficult so let's say we have a list of um, a few people one is this right let me copy it um, let's copy and paste it over here and then let's add another email so let me open incognito mode and here I'll say temp mail so that I can um, I can get another disposable email address so let's wait uh, this is a beautiful thing I mean you can get disposable email addresses for testing purpose okay 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 I think we got yeah got it so I'm copying it and then let's go back let's paste it over here okay so now I have two email addresses right okay now what do we want to do is we want to send email to these two email addresses so you, you can have 200 or 2000 email addresses as well no problem so um, le let me call it emails okay and let's run it great okay so if we come over here I'll say for email in emails 
okay and here I'll put these things over here and okay so now here rather than write a uh, hard coding this email I'll say email okay now it will be setting email to this email variable which is which will be initially this one and later on it will be this one okay so what should be the subject so let me a subject would be testing again again for YouTube right and what should be the message let me add this email address into this message to to clarify that this is another thing so before our message was hello hope you're doing great now our message would be hello hello email address so here I'll say hello plus and email and then again plus and string starts so what I have actually done is um, yeah so I have just concatenated um, two or three I think three strings so I'll say hello and then email address uh, there should be a space yeah so hello space email address e m a i l yeah hello email address and then again comma and then hope you're doing great and then a uh, full stop great so let me send it send it how can I send it I'll run it let's wait let's wait yeah I think it's done let's go over here let's go back to the list there should be another email over here and there should be another email on the other uh, window that is on incognito mode so he here you can see that testing again for YouTube let's go over here so it says hello and then email address this e current email address and then hope you're doing great let's go to the other email to see if yeah yeah here you can see that this is the other email address right s a w o x or whatever and it says testing again for YouTube let's go over here and again so it says hello s a w o x or or whatever so hope you're doing great so yeah uh, that's that's about it that is what we we wanted to do and we have um, almost achieved uh, what we wanted to do uh, so so now if you have a list of uh, of email addresses and you want to send some um, uh, some customized data so uh, perhaps you can load uh, you can load a CSV file over here as well so let's say here you can say import pandas as PD and then you can perhaps you can say um, data frame equals to PD dot read underscore CSV and then here you can provide some some uh, your CSV file let's say emails uh, dot CSV so let's say if you have a CSV of emails you can import it over here, here and then you can loop over your your data frame and rest of the story would be the same so isn't that amazing yeah it looks good to me so that's about it from my side if you are a beginner to uh, to data science paradigm you're more than welcome over here you can visit our our channel our website link is in the description you can find a lot of courses that are created specifically for those people who are very beginner in data science paradigm thank you very much